out to a meeting and hope this light's okay because I had something on my mind I wanted to talk to you about missing time like I'm just it's just I've just lists of lists of things that come up around this whole Mandela thing that I have been wondering about or noticing myself so you know with these shorter vlogs like this I feel like I can just kind of throw it out there and you know we can talk about it and uh, see what you all's reactions are to it so um, hope this light is okay um, I um, I'm noticing the sun's coming through. It seems like I'm having some shadows, but I guess you guys can hear me. It's not that bad. It's a vlog, so thanks. So anyway, missing time. So I've noticed that I have missing time, and it seems like it's getting more frequent. And I'm I'm thinking that a lot of you guys are having the same thing and may have noticed it and maybe not thought about it much or thought about it like I've been doing or just quite not sure like what box to put it in. Not that I know what box to put it in, but I can tell you what my experiences are and you tell me if it's something similar. So um, most of my life I've had episodes of missing time, but it wasn't until my adult life that I started identifying them as missing time, okay? And, um, and I think those have some other implications um, that also have to do with uh, the unity consciousness or the you know the larger multiverse but I think that it's also bleeding over now into the Mandela effect so for instance one of the very first times recently and this was about two years ago that or maybe not quite two years ago maybe about a year and a half ago or so um, I'm driving along on the very road that I'm on right now so it's like a highway you know and so you know how when you're driving after a while you kind of just get into a daze because you know the area and it's like you're on that auto driving thing you're watching and you're being you know you're driving defensively but you're also kind of like it's a meditation so it's always think it's sort of like a driving meditation so you know how you can look around you and you see all the things are familiar but mostly you're thinking about where you're going what you just did what you have to do maybe you're making a list things like that well, on this particular day, it was, um, it might have been around the same time of day, you know, getting ready to be early evening or so. I'm driving along and I'm looking around like this, seeing everything that I'm used to seeing, but not thinking about it. And then within an instant, I start, I panicked. And I was like, for like about a few seconds, I did not recognize. The area that I was in although the road looked the same roughly like I have mountains to the right here and then there's a big valley and there's mountains way over in the distance so all of that landscape looked the same but the other stuff around it didn't really look the same like I couldn't say that there were any different buildings or anything that would stick out like all of a sudden there was an amusement park off the side of the road or anything like that not that at all but a clear recognition that whoa they're, like this is different and right about the time I recognized within these first few seconds that it was different now all of a sudden like I almost panicked I was like oh, you know my heart got to racing a little bit I'm like what and then within that moment it popped back and I was like oh, wow okay that was really strange <laughs> I'm thinking, woo! So I, I pondered that a long time. And I just kind of thought, well, that must have been one of these interdimensional things. You know, you think that. You think, well, maybe that's, you know, us beginning to sort of play with it. That's what I sort of thought. I mean, I still believe that's true. But now I think it's also inherent to the Mandela effect. Um, phenomenon if we want to see it as something that's that's blending these um, the various universes the multiverse these dimensions are compacting are layering on top of themselves we think about the dimensions like an onion and all the layers of an onion um, so everything is happening in the same time it's, it's time and space and time not as in the time construct but as in 
from more from a quantum standpoint and in terms of location and space and mass okay so um so that was one thing that really stuck with me then what i started noticing and now even more recently in the last few months and i mean it's accelerating is that like i can listen to like let's say a video on youtube let's say i'm you know laying on the bed and i got my earphones in or i have like sometimes i have it in one ear and i'm listening to a video or something like that and um and i'm thinking that i'm totally conscious of the video i'm listening to every word a person is saying right and then i hear myself like snore you know <laughs> you know you go you're like whoa you know <laughs> and that'll pop me out of it and then i'm like whoa wait a minute i'm listening to this video and i can go back and replay that video and i can say okay this is what the last few things they said and sure enough it would be the last few things they said so it's like I'm in a trance, but I'm aware of um, exactly everything that's going on around me, but I'm not like, I'm not aware that I'm in a trance until something startles me out of it. Then I'm like, whoa, you know, and that happens a, quite a bit to me. I could say that's going to happen at least a couple times a week or like I'll, you know, you're sitting around, you know, doing something. I could be on the computer, editing something or typing something, and maybe my spouse, he's talking, and he's just talking, talking, talking. Well, normally I will be in a reclined position, so I'm not normally sitting up at a table or a chair. But a lot of times I may be laying in the bed, laying back in the bed with my laptop on, and I'm sitting there doing something like that. And let's say he's talking, and he's having a conversation. And um, I'm hearing everything he's saying. I'm going, mm-hmm, oh yeah, you know how you do that. While well, I might be reading something or editing something or whatever. And then I'll feel him nudge me. And I'm like, what, what's up? He said, you're sleeping. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I'll tell him exactly what he just finished saying. He said, yeah, but you just snored or you just didn't, you didn't respond in that moment or something like that. And, and he said, you were definitely out of it, Robin. And I'm like, yeah, but I heard everything you said. Plus, I'm reading what I'm working on here. <laughs> so, I have to only believe that you guys are having similar experiences to that. Because I really do believe that if the Mandela Effect has something to do with this sort of woven tapestry um, of all time continuums and parallels... And if we're like a piece of thread that's going in and out of these very space-time parallels, like let's say we're just jumping from strand to strand and weaving back and forth in and out, and we're doing that, we're learning to do that more during our conscious state, which I believe that going to other dimensions, your, your, conscious, your consciousness is more elevated and active while you're, let's say, like in a waking state. So let's say you're, like I'm driving along now, but I could be more aware that my consciousness may be on another time parallel, you know, maybe it's on two or three, and your awareness becomes heightened that you're doing this other work or you're involved like that, but you're primarily in the whatever parallel that you're existing in. So I think that a lot of this is leading up. It's like a practice, you know, to as because it's happening these a lot of this stuff is happening to people who are awake and so what is spiritual growth right i mean even if you go from a biblical standpoint christ said that we could do these things and greater right and so nobody really knows what that means you know i believe you know having grown up in the church and my granddaddy was a minister he was actually an archbishop and well, we went to church every Child, we went to church to eat. I mean, we were in church all the time. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm not a person who's memorized the Bible, but I'm familiar with a lot of the precepts, and I'm certainly familiar with a lot of what's normally espoused from the pulpit, a lot of those kind of common sermons and what have you. And But nobody has actually put, I've never been sitting in a congregation 
in which that's been adequately defined from a Christian standpoint, what Christ meant by being able to do that or more. So, um, and he was a being of the multiverse, right? Um, so maybe this is what we're doing. I mean, we're ascending when ascension is looking like this. Um, and it's a very, and it would make sense that it would be a very everyday type of thing. I mean, a lot of people think, oh, you know, that um, angels would be coming off of clouds, flapping wings, and ooh, taking you up and all that. But don't you think it would be more like this anyway? Like just more everyday kind of thing? And then the thing I was thinking about too is when we think about, well, I'll make that a topic of another video because I don't want these to be long, but I was thinking that a lot of the anomalies that we're seeing also with regards to other people's behavior, because I know I see it. I feel like sometimes I'm on the living in the land of the lost way with some of these people act out here. It's unbelievable. Especially when you're driving along or you're in the store and it's like people don't know how to say excuse me anymore. Now they just knock into you and keep on moving. But anyway, so maybe with regards to that, because we're ascending and we're spending more time in these other parallel universes, comparatively, people may be seeming to be more in ways that they weren't because maybe we're more sensitive to other people's behavior right it's a possible idea um and then you know i don't know but it, you know it could be a possible idea that that's that we're becoming more in tune more sensitive more aware and you know how that is in anything that's ever happened in life. Okay, like, you know when you, you might be reading a passage in a, ma in a book or a novel or something, and you come across a word, and you've never seen this word before, so you look it up to get the definition. And then lo and behold, all of a sudden, like every five minutes, you read the word, you see it on signs, people are saying it, and you think to yourself, was that word always going on around me? because I didn't know it, what it meant, I just never paid attention to it, or because my consciousness became aware of it, am I manifesting the use of it more? Who knows? So maybe similarly with people's behavior, because we are expanding our consciousness and our awareness, and we are actually doing more in our dream time than sleeping, and we're having more of these missing periods of time that are going unaccounted for, we're actually interfacing with um, human consciousness or with consciousness, let's say consciousness, on these various other levels and dimensions that we're now more sensitive to the behavior around us. Possible idea. So anyhow, okay, I'm going to sign off. I just wanted to talk about this missing time and get you guys feedback. Um, so, yep, yeah. all righty. Well, take care. Have a good evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.